When you went to television, yes, um, we heard from Pete Williams that you took to it almost immediately. That's so not true. Good evening, I'm Gwen Eiffel. Even marginal progress could be affected by investigations in Little Rock and in Washington. I want to talk to you about AIDS, and not about AIDS in China or Africa, but AIDS right here in this country. When I was a little girl, there was a woman named uh, Melba Tolliver who was on the news and she had a big afro. And I just was transfixed by this idea. That didn't make me want to be in television as much as it made me want to tell the story. Hmm. How do we as a nation cope with race, conflict, and our inability to see each other? Invariably, somebody will come up to me and tell me the story of their little girl. And it always stops me in my tracks because as as long as I remember that there's someone on the other side of the piece of equipment, the camera, who's watching me with expectation and it can shape what they do next, I have to take what I do seriously every single day. Why don't you mention Donald Trump by name? You know, uh, he seems to do a good job mentioning his own name. <laughs> so, uh, Gwen was a friend of ours. She was an extraordinary journalist. She always kept faith with the fundamental responsibilities of her profession, asking tough questions, holding people in power accountable and defending a strong and free press that makes our democracy work. We have a dedicated, uh, committed audience who want to know more, who want us to dig a little deeper on their behalf. And so if they weren't there, if they weren't supporting the work we do, we couldn't exist. And I think it's kind of vital to democracy that we do exist.